Hey everybody, it's Rafi Ermac, editor in chief of Pride.com. I'm in Los Angeles, California, reporting live from the red carpet premiere of Knives Out. Knives Out reads as like, like you said, a classic whodunit with the exception of that it has like uh, good messages about like class divide with yeah. like upper right, middle, uh, upper class with the lower working class immigrant families. And um, why was it important for you to uh, create like this classic whodunit but that's socially, politically relevant to today? Well, I mean, so, uh, the whodunit is a genre that I love so much. I grew up reading Agatha Christie's books. So many times you see them today, they're done as period pieces. It seemed like it'd be a really interesting thing to do an original one and to really plug it into 2019 America. And to me, that meant not just giving it a modern skin of cell phones and modern cars. That meant, okay, if we're going to do it, let's actually, if we have a big family, after a couple of glasses of wine, let's have them argue about what we're all actually arguing about together. And let's have the movie kind of like approach that in a way that has a perspective. So that seemed like a really interesting combination of the old and the new to me. This is a classic whodunit with the exception that it has really uh, good messages and uh, about uh, class divide with like immigrants and rich people. So what was it like to be part of a project that was uh, uh, still so relevant like today, politically, socially? I mean, listen, I, I think that the, the, the truth of it is is that we knew that's in the script, but you don't make a deal out of it. You just play it. Mm -hmm. And we could see that that was there. Um, but to labor it would have been wrong. I mean, ultimately, the movie's just a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And any good movie's got a little bit of a message in this, this house. So. I got to say, I think that if you're making a movie about today, you're making a movie about the issues that we deal with today. And those are issues of you know, class divide and, and uh, uh, um, uh, racism and uh, immigration and uh, social justice. I mean, if you're if you're talking about people in 2019, that's what you're talking about. The family is obviously a hot mess. Um, do you have any advice for people who are coming into the holidays who have to deal with like a crazy family like the one in the movie? I think everybody has a crazy family. I don't know anybody who doesn't. There's always stuff. And learning how to live around conflict is you have to listen. And then you also have to know when to walk away. It, and I think all of us around the holidays s sort of implement those two. You sit, you listen, you try not to engage, you know. There's a... Um, there's a phrase I like that says, say what you mean and mean what you say, just don't say it mean. Yeah. And I think that is a good sort of way to go into the holidays. Go see this movie. Yeah. Get out of the house and go see this movie because I guarantee you that this family is more f***ed up than yours. <laughs> with the holidays coming up, do you have any advice for people who have to like go home and deal with these crazy families, with, sometimes with bigots? You know what my advice is? put everyone in the car and take them to see the Japanians. <laughs> when you get sick of arguing, when you can't take it anymore, when you just have, have had it up to here, pass say we're going to the movies and go and you can you can bring them all to this and hopefully everybody can have a laugh at it. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much, Ryan. Thanks, <laughs> nice to meet you.